Hello and welcome to this brand new series. In this series I'm going to be trying to beat Pal World with only Lucky Pals. So I have played Pal World quite a bit at this point and it's basically just evolved into me hunting Lucky Pals at this point so hey why not just make a whole new series and try to play with only Lucky Pals. I will be allowing myself to also capture some normal pals. Um, each time I capture a lucky pal of a new type, I'll allow myself to capture as many uh, normal pals of that same type as I would like. The only catch here is that I won't be able to use them for anything. Um, they'll just have to sit in the box. Really the point of this is just to be able to use the pal condenser since I think it'd be really fun to be able to level up these lucky pals. And I don't see myself really being able to catch like 130 lucky land balls. Um, so instead, I'll just be capturing normal land balls in order to use the pal condenser. I also figure it'll give a nice XP boost each time I find a new type of lucky pal. Nice. This should serve me well. If I'm going to be beating up pals for XP, I might as well do it with a bat. Chest. Might as well just unlock everything here. Yeah, we're gonna need all this. Uh, we might not need a straw pal bed, actually. Oh, he did. Well, okay, let's just grab this one. Man, crafting is gonna be so slow with no pals to help me out. Okay, that should be plenty for now. Imagine my first train is just going to be a random level 3 chicken or something, so this should do. And yeah, this is taking a while. Ooh, I almost forgot there's also always a chest back here. More parcels. It's time to actually find a shiny. Uh, I'll show you my routes. This is definitely going to change in a couple levels when I can get a parachute. Uh, but it's still not bad, even with that one. You still kind of jump off the slide. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to build some ramps or something. Yeah, let's see if this works. Really be relying on that lucky sound. Man, I hope I do not see a lucky. I'll be so sad. Maybe level 50 or something. Ooh, a chest. Yeah, and I'm going to have to be picking berries all the time. I probably won't be able to get enough pals to actually farm for so long. Okay, I guess I'll use my stat points. Um, I think probably the most useful thing is just going to be stamina. I don't really need a lot of weight right now. Maybe work speed, honestly, but yeah, I think I'll just pump stamina for a while. This will be really useful. And uh, yeah, that's basically the route. I'll definitely show you as I get some upgrades, but yeah, once you teleport back up here, it effectively respawns all of the pals. And so it's, it's pretty fast to see a ton of new pals and hopefully see a shiny. This base is going to be pretty sad for a while. Totally empty, besides me. A boom, there we go. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, I should definitely make a bow. 
That could definitely come in handy if I run into a shiny deer or something. I'll have to make a ton of arrows too, just in case I do That should be enough. Let's see. So, uh, I'll be back in about 30 minutes when I'm done with this. Yeah, I have finally finished the arrows. Uh, let's see, I got 127, 9 pal spheres, 1 megasphere. I also crafted some clothes, so... Yeah, I think I'm about ready. Although I do want to level up one more time to get the parachute before I really start in full. So I, so I think to level up, I'm probably just going to go kill some random pals. It's fun. Land balls will give me some more. Can't exactly assign one to a ranch. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to figure out some good ways of leveling up without capturing pals, though. Maybe dungeons? Maybe you get like, a decent chunk of XP just for completing them. Maybe just like killing world bosses over and over again. Okay, let's go make that parachute. Oh, oh yeah, this is much better. Okay, I think it's time. I'm going to build a ramp up here. I feel like it's going to save me so much time in the long run. Let's see. I'm probably going to do it, like... Like, right here, facing towards my base. Okay, I need a bunch of wood. I'm thinking I'll probably build it, like, right here. I think the easiest way to do this is going to be to start down here and build my way up. That should work. Build up like a huge wall right here that I can start building the stairs from. Oh, I did it wrong. foundations out like this I can just keep moving the stairs down let's see that Stop it like here. Yeah, that should work. Just gotta make sure I have like a really easy way to get up here.
That's it. Uh, not bad. Okay, there we go. So, let's see. So, if I fast travel here, I'm just run straight up here. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be nice. Yeah, I think I can get like out here. Oh! That's a shiny. I mean, lucky. What is it? Ooh, lamb ball. Okay, that's actually pretty nice, because at least he can help me craft. Hey, buddy. And the nice thing is, since he's so close to my base, I'm pretty sure if I die here, he'll still stay spawned, too. Okay, here goes nothing. My first pal. So I'm not gonna get them too low. Just throw early. Throw often. Nice. Um, and yeah, as per my ooh, motivational leader, that's not bad. As per my uh, second rule, I actually am gonna go ahead now and capture up to 10 land balls. So should be a nice boost of XP. I don't know if I'll capture them all right now, but at least from time to time when I need to level up. Starting with you. And yeah, this land ball, like this non-shiny one, it's just gonna sit in my box. You can't, you know, really do anything on base for me or be in my party or anything like that. So I'll go drop them off right now. Also, let's take a look at the big boy. Uh, what? Shiny's got like special abilities. Lightning bolt, nice. Okay, that's pretty good. So yeah, I'll drop off this other land ball. I'll probably just kind of grab them whenever I think about it. If I can start leveling up. Because, yeah, pretty much want to rush as fast as I can to try to get the Essence Converter. I think it'd be fun to make this into, like, a super land ball and actually use them late game, too. With that move, like, you might do okay. Now that I got some help. It's fantastic. Before, I was so rudely interrupted by this land ball. Uh, I was building a ramp, so I should probably go ahead and keep working on that. I guess the angle doesn't matter too much because I'm gonna be like flying it here. Probably just like this line right here. It would help if I had wood. Okay, this should probably work, and I can always extend out this, like, platform back if I need to. Yeah, that's about right. Ooh, nice, and it's almost nighttime, so that means maybe I can get myself, like, a Depresso or something. Yeah, I feel like... Doing this at nighttime is gonna be a really good idea. Probably a lot more useful nighttime pals like uh, Tombat or something too. Okay, so let's see how this whole route actually works now. Teleport up. Oh. E line over here. Uh, it's gonna be close. No, okay, <laughs> about perfect. And I guess I have to wait for my stam to regen, and then I just... Nice. Yeah, that'll work really well. I'll be better at it.
guess I gotta build some sort of staircase just in case that happens. And I guess this gives me like a easier spot to land as well if I'm falling short, so yeah, that should work pretty well. Ooh. Figured that I should probably use that lift monk effigy. Just in case I do run into like a pretty high level shiny. I'm gonna want to make sure I have the best capture rate possible. So I might go try to find a few more too and get another couple levels. So I only need four for the next one. That's pretty doable. I'll probably go grab that right now. There's one. Megasphere, nice, okay. That's gonna be helpful. Ooh, and a skill tree. Let's see what moves I can teach my lamb ball. Honestly, not bad. That could be kind of fun. And number two. Fortunately, eggs are completely useless to me. Uh, so, I'm just going to leave that one. Megasphere. Okay. Yeah, if we run into a deer at this point, I think we'll be totally fine. <laughs> and number three. Yeah, one more to go. Gotta be an effigy around here somewhere. And here we go. Number four. Okay. This should let me ca upgrade my capture rate again. I probably won't go for it anymore after this. I'll probably just keep sliding down that hill. Uh, I guess I can run to this fast travel. Next one requires seven. I'm not gonna get that anytime soon. Oh, oh I'm dumb. I didn't even grab this like effigy that you're supposed to find first. No. Oh. At least I found enough. Yeah, I'm probably not going to stay here that long. Um, I'll probably grab a few shinies just to have some semblance of a team. But I think what I'll probably do is destroy my base and move it to the bottom of some hill. And then just try to find a spot where there's like a fast travel at the top of the hill. Um, that way I can kind of do this anyway. I guess the other nice thing about staying here for a bit is that everything's going to be low level. I'm probably going to get into big trouble if I find something that's like level 15. And then the shiny version is level 25 or something. Oh. We'll see. Oh. 
Oh boy, here we go. I'm actually really excited about having a Kativa. Their, uh, like, Fury Punch move or whatever, basically Fury Swipes, is so good. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna probably just use the bow and not bring out Land Ball. I don't want to accidentally kill this thing. Land Ball knows a pretty pretty move. Oh. Okay, okay. Let's see what he actually looks like. Uh, okay. Of course, he's a coward. That part does kind of suck. Uh, dragon cannon, okay. Honestly, like, the way I normally play with cats is I just remove everything but punch flurry, so. Yeah, that move's probably not gonna happen, but. Nice! Okay, we already got, uh, lucky number two. So, uh, this won't take too long, I don't think. Uh, I might just go, like, level up a bunch now by catching cats and land balls. punks already. Taking everything I got to not like throw a ball at these guys. <laughs> so used to catching everything I see. Self a little house. As well as upgrading my base as much as I can with just the two pals. Uh, the next one requires four pals, so yeah, that might be a little while. Uh, but yeah, at least I have a tiny little base now. I'm just gonna keep these guys working here, I think. They can just passively collect some stone and Aldium for me. But yeah, now I'm gonna go level up a little bit just uh, by catching those land balls and kativas. How many balls do I have? Yeah, I got I'm good. Unfortunately, it is a duplicate, but hey, I'll take it. Another worker for the base. Maybe eventually I can just throw a bunch of cats at a boss and uh, call it good. Oh, no! I did not think about the fact that we were this close to my base. Oh, man. I actually just wanted the consolation. That sucks. Yeah. I, I think it's dead. Well, hopefully that's the only shiny I accidentally kill this run. Oh man. Never punished, I guess. I must have known. Okay, I gotta be really careful with this one. My guys might attack again. Watching. Just, just gonna 
and try some pretty balls. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, so uh, maybe I'll just not even show the last clip. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, this was my uh, third shiny, guys. Uh, three shinies, wow, that's cool. Let's actually look at them. So this was the first one, the Lucky Motivational Leader Lightning Bolt. Honestly, this one's a lot worse. Tri Lightning's not a great move, in my opinion. Blood of the Dragon's not very uh, <laughs> useful either, so uh, whatever. He'll work on the base. One more, and I can finally upgrade the base again. Just now. Oh. I feel like I got these runs down pretty quick. Oh. 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 that happens, though, you kind of you get a really weird slide off of that guy. Uh, never mind, I'm being good at this. But, uh, hey! Slightly better than the first one. Another chest? Okay, I've just been flying past this the whole time, I did not realize it was here. Okay, nice, that's actually a lot of spheres. I didn't really think that through when I put that in the feeding trough. I'm just happy though. Okay. Get him! Oh, beautiful. So this guy can uh, plant in my farm for me. That's pretty sick. Honestly, after this, all I need is a water guy, and then I can actually farm. And he is huge. Look at that. Okay. Uh, I think I'm actually just gonna try. Yeah, I'm gonna try throwing a ball first and just see what happens. And then I'll engage in. Damn, okay. Well, there you go. That easy. That. Yeah. Here we go. Let's see what he's got. Uh, lightning bolt again. Man, okay, that's sick. Yeah, and he doesn't have any negative skills, so... Yeah, this guy might actually be pretty good. Nice. Well, I guess while I'm here, I can just, like, catch some of his friends for some XP. Yeah. I've been XP starred for the last little bit. Thank you. Oh, back up to the top. Side effect is I actually have four guys now. Second base upgrade. I really want to get a couple more upgrades until I can have two bases. That'll make it way easier to move base in the future. Which I'm definitely going to want to do if I can find a nice farming spot. Oh yeah, look at him bark all over the place. Okay, this is like kind of starting to be a base. Almost like a real playthrough, except everything's massive. Oh, okay. I don't actually remember when I get the max number of bases up. I can just build a Metal Gear workbench then. Another upgrade, let's go. Uh, crusher and logging site. Okay, that's pretty easy. Base upgrade? Easy. Okay. 
I don't think I'm ready for that. Let me just make sure of that. Maybe hot spring. Yeah, okay. We'll get back to this at a later date. Okay, so I think with this little uh, run, I might try to kill Chill It. That would be a pretty good source of uh, XP for in my crew. Mm, should be pretty easy to take. Uh, let's go straight. Let's see. Quickly check out. Yeah, I'm getting rid of Dragon Can on this guy. And everyone else should be good. Yeah, let's do it. That's kind of cool. I was looking for a water guy. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Honestly, yeah. I've been getting lucky. Might as well try. Okay. Now he needs the bat. Taking them lower just in case I somehow do like an uber crit or something. Nice. Okay, that's sick. Let's see, what was that move? Okay, that was just a chronic. Same, okay. Yeah, we got watering now. Okay, so we're actually self sufficient if we, uh. I can go to the farms. I should probably drop this ball. Okay, chill it. Let's do this. He's actually gonna be good against him. Um, and none of our guys. Honestly, go go mass. Excuse me, grab some. See, I'll just have all of them use their like little special moves. Pull him back. Not mean to press that, but that's fine. Flame ball go. Dragon attack. Honestly, I really feel like cats are OP. Like, if I'm gonna catch any like group of guys first, it's gonna be a ton of cats to power this guy up. Okay, nice. Yeah, that was some good XP actually. I'm gonna have to come back here and kill him each time. I don't know if it's the same XP every time you kill him or not. But uh yeah, I mean all my guys like jumped to level 10 with that. That's crazy. Okay. Well back to the old shiny grind. Actually, maybe I'll go unlock some fast travel points first. 
That might be nice to have. Oh, wrong button there. Figured I'd catch a few more of these guys on the way. Start working towards it. I already caught like way more than 10, but uh. Stop. Plenty of balls. Gonna miss ya. Me out. Yeah. That's a ninja. Uh, there we go, then. Try not to hit the box. You want to get started on fire right now? There we go. Animals in here can be shiny, but I guess I would know from a long ways away. Regardless, these guys give us uh, fears when we kill them, so. Well. Easily go get a land ball. Oh man, this is a cool one, too. I feel like I hardly ever see the AC Jolt Hog. What? I got a Mega Sphere to drop from that guy? It's crazy. Mm, I guess I should get some Mega Sphere. Pull this guy over, I can actually get another fast travel point up there. Gotta use the old ball trick. Come on. This is actually kind of an interesting fast travel point. I wonder if I could like build something up here to slide down. I could glide for a long ways. Hmm. I investigate that. Oh, for now more exploring. Oh, also if you guys didn't know, at this desolate church fast travel point, there's like a whole bunch of ore behind it. Once you get the grappling hook, this is like a perfect spot to mine. Because you can just totally load yourself up and uh use your grappling hook to get back to the fast travel spot. show you guys that but for now I should have yeah effigy right there and a chest five more well we'll see maybe I'll actually grab those before we head back and a chest let's see what we get What am I up to? Nice, 24. I can probably just start like capturing a bunch of dupes now. Okay. Let's see. Let's get all my guys working here. Oh, 
look at him go. Look at him go. I've never actually put a T fan in one of my bases before. Kind of a cool animation. It makes a lot of sense. It's like a little teapot. I hadn't thought about it like that before. Nice, but yeah, that means that we're gonna get limited berries now. We've been running a little bit low here. go chickpea nice okay we probably start getting some passive egg production that'd be nice well assuming i don't kill it i did that uh okay i'm just gonna keep doing this uh, <laughs> like my best chance not to kill more of these guys easy <clears throat> We should probably get this T fan just making uh, all the in for us. Because we have uh, just work out. getting a stone all the time. Let's see if this chicken can get in there. I did. I leave a tree in the middle, so hopefully that doesn't <laughs> sum up too bad. We got freezing. 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 Nice. Okay. Well, look at that. We actually kind of have a functional base here. Didn't expect that in the first episode. But let me know how you guys like this episode. This is my first time ever making a gameplay video like this. Um, so I'm sure it was kind of terrible. And can only get better from here. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought. Um, if you'd like to see anything else. And uh, see you in the next one.